Welcome to Ari Jam 360 Entertainment News. I'm your host, Electra. Today's entertainment news is brought to you by Tad's Records, distributors of the album Zitana Reggae Forever and George Nooks for you. For this news feature and more things Irie, download the Irie Jam 360 app for iPhone and Android devices. Follow us on social media. You can also visit irijam.com. In today's stories, Dub Master Chris silences anti-police lyrics. Beat Street Festival for February 24. You were to launch Global Reggae Archives. And Michelle Goat tops Billboard. The Master Chris silences anti-police lyrics. Ari Jam, this jock, the hugely popular Dub Master Chris, has made a decision, with the blessings of the station, to put on pause all those songs which show disrespect to the police during the month of February. Jamaican newspaper The Gleaner quotes him as saying, as a concerned Jamaican living here in New York and an active radio personality for more than 20 years, it is part of my civic responsibility and my patriotic duty to highlight issues that impact the Jamaicans at home and here in the diaspora. I am usually not a big advocate for censorship in the arts, but it can sometimes highlight and bring attention to an issue, and it is something I have done consistently over the years. Well, this DJ is no stranger to taking bold stands. He did the same thing a few years ago when he refused to play Vibes Cartel songs during Reggae Black History Month to make a point. He felt that Cartel's message concerning bleaching was eroding the concept that black is beautiful. Up move, the Master Chris. Meet me on Beat Street on February 24. Excitement is in the air as the Sound and Pressure Foundation, an organization that has been working since 2006 to revive downtown Kingston as a music heritage site, gets ready for a massive street festival. Meet me on Beat Street to recognize the significant role of Orange Beat Street in Jamaican music. Scheduled for February 24, it kicks off at midday on the Orange Street corridor between Charles and North Streets. It will highlight the significant roles played by three musical icons who have impacted the world namely Clement Cox and Dodd, Cecil Prince Buster Campbell, and Lee Scratch Perry. All three operated music recording businesses on Orange Street. There will be a one-hour tour, the Downtown Kingston Music Heritage Tour, which will take visitors to places of interest which had ties to Kingston's musical heritage. You will launch Global Reggae Archives. Reggae continues to put Jamaica on top as Jamaica celebrates Reggae Month and the University of the West Indies UE marks the 25th anniversary of the establishment of the Reggae Studies Unit, the Institute of Caribbean Studies, ICS, will host the sixth biennial Global Reggae Conference from February 13th to 16th. Under the theme Reggae Innovation and Sound System Culture 2, this year's staging is in partnership with Birmingham City University, United Kingdom, which hosted the first conference in April 2018. Renowned anthropologist and ethnomusicologist Dr. Kenneth Bilby, alongside Dr. Dennis Howard, will engage in a plenary conversation on Jamaica's ultra-modern sound culture and ancestral liberty. A release states that this year's staging inside the UNESCO Creative City of Music, Kingston, promised to be a landmark event in reggae culture and sound system research. As a result of the partnership between the UE and Birmingham City University, developed over the past 18 months, plans are advanced for the two-year phase development of a global reggae archive, which will be launched at the Saturday, February 16th closing of the conference. Reggae is certainly Jamaica's gift to the world. Michelle's Goat Tops Billboard Soca star Michelle Montana has topped the Billboard Reggae Albums chart with his latest effort, the 19th song, Goat, which debuts this week with 419 copies sold. Goat features collaborations with fellow Soca artists Super Blue, Farmer Nappy, Bungie Garland, and Skinny Fabulous. Another, titled So Good, features dancehall artist Ding Dong. This is Michelle's first Billboard number one. His Monk Monte peaked at number two in 2015, while Monk Evolution stalled at number five in 2016. And that's how we wrap up for today. Thank you for watching Ari Jam 360 Entertainment News. Today's entertainment news is brought to you by Tad's Records, distributors of the album Zitana Reggae Forever and George Nooks for you. For this news feature and more things Ari, download the Ari Jam 360 app for iPhone and Android devices. Follow us on social media. You can also visit arijam.com. See you soon.